Hey guys, it's Cameron Fleming with the Fleming team and today we're back with October's monthly market update. Today we're going to be discussing some of the trends in, in the housing market as of late and what we can expect in the fall and heading into next year. Now, in order to really get some insight around what's going to happen in the fall, we have to take a look back at what has happened thus far this year. And so what has happened thus far this year is South Carolina, on average, has seen appreciation of about 16.8% in home values. So this has been a really dramatic appreciation. Um, the average appreciation year over year um, throughout history has been about 4.1%. And it actually used to be 3.7%, but this year's kind of anomaly really um, made a difference so that it, it kind of trended up to that 4.1%. Now, one of the things that we have to look at, and I think that, you know, if you're going to be in the market to buy or sell a home, you need to know, you're going to take note to some of the, uh, you know, news outlets talking about a slow in the market. And I think there is a very important distinction that you're going to have to make when you hear some of these articles, right? So what economists are predicting is a deceleration in the market. And I, and I want to make a key distinction here between deceleration and depreciation. Economists are not predicting depreciation in the market where home values drop. What they are, what what we are seeing as things kind of average, I'm sorry, not average out, as things kind of level out, um, we're we're seeing that uh, it is expected not for homes to rise 17 percent um, year over year, right? And and we could we couldn't expect this, so of course we are going to see a slow in appreciation. But one of the things that I want to make sure that people understand about uh, buying a home in equity. So what economists have us pegged at over the next five years is about a 5.7% increase in, in home values year over year. So that means <clears throat> we're likely to see about a 30% increase in where home values are now to where they'll be in the next five years. For the average home buyer, um, that purchases a home at about $350,000, that's going to be gains of upwards of $111,000 in equity over the next five years. So when you hear us talking about a deceleration in uh, home values uh, and, and how they increase, this is not a, a depreciation and that is an important distinction to note. Um, if you have any questions about that, please reach out to me. I'm here for you. But I think that's the biggest takeaway that we're going to have to have to kind of really make sure that we're seeing as the market kind of ebbs and flows as it does typically in the fall. Now, one of the things that I also want to note is um, last year in 2020, we saw a lot of people buying homes. Interest rates were in the low 2%, and so a lot of people were buying homes in 2020, um, and there weren't, there was not a lot of inventory, um, but the low interest rates really drove people to the market. So another thing that you'll hear the news talk about is that we are, we are going to be down a little bit from uh, the last quarter in 2020, um, but I think we have to really look back at, you know, what happened, you know, basically the virus, uh, the pandemic came. Um, you know, March, April of 2020. And so people just completely shut down. And as we kind of start to get a handle on it, there was a lot of pent up uh, buyer demand and couple those with low interest rates. And you had an influx of people coming to the market. Now, what we're going to see in 2021's uh, uh, fourth quarter market is more of a normal market when it comes to uh, you know, uh, buyers uh, entering the market as rates aren't in the low 2% right now. Um, so I think that's one, another great distinction that we're going to need to make as we, as we listen to, you know, what, what the news has to say. Now, um, another point that I, that I want to make is one of the things that we are seeing is listings kind of, they haven't reached their peak in terms of coming to the market. Now, Depending on what listings do is going to really dictate how the end of the year plays out. 
Um, if we kind of stay flat with, with listings, we'll kind of see, you know, moderate appreciation. Um, if if uh, listings rise, right, so if more people bring their homes to the market um, in the fourth quarter, then we are going to see a, 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 a deceleration of um, value increase. If people start to you know, not list their home as they typically do during November and December, we're going to see some some pretty good price appreciation. So um, that's kind of what we can expect in the market um, in the fourth quarter. Now, I want to talk to a very important segment of our buyers. If you're in the market to buy a home in the next year, I really highly recommend you try to get it done here in the fourth quarter. Um, as we see inventory kind of rise a bit uh, more than normal here in the fourth quarter, but also, you know, people aren't as willing to move in the fourth quarter. I think this is a really good opportunity for you to be able to come into the market and find the home that's right for you and not let the home pick you. As well as, as we head into next summer, interest rates are likely to rise, which is going to cost you more. And the cost of homes are likely to rise as well, albeit not as dramatically as it did this year, they will rise. So if you are in a position where you can purchase a home now instead of waiting, I highly recommend to start to get that process going. Um, please reach out to me. Let us get you with our preferred lender. Um, there's a reason why we hand selected him and that's because he does the absolute best work and his interest rates are also really amazing as well. Um, he actually just helped Shana and I purchase our new home. So um, if you guys have any questions, that's our monthly market update for um, October. And until next time, guys, peace.